All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at type, type in Illustrator. So we have our type tool. We come on over to type, and your type tool is also a tear off. So we can click and drag it, and there it is. And we have a bunch of different options. And we're going to, in this video, go over what these different options are and begin to take a look at um, some of the windows too when we come on down to type. We'll see we have all these, some of these different windows. In particular, we'll focus in on our character window today. Okay, so here goes. To begin with, we have the type tool. The major difference we have, actually we have three. We have the type tool, the area type tool, and the type on a path tool. So these are the three, diff three different options we have, and we want to really be sure that we know the difference. So the type tool, let's just start with the type tool. When we grab the type tool and we come on over to our artboard, this is the little logo that we see. And all we're going to do, the little logo, the little um, pictograph that we see, all we want to do is click our mouse. And now we can see the blinking cursor. Now, I want to make my font bigger so we can see it a little bit better. Let's go up to 48 and I can see now it's much bigger. And uh, my font is Myrid Pro. Now you can come on up here, and again, as I've said before, there's lots of different ways to do the same thing here in Illustrator in the Adobe software. And I'm going to go for this American typewriter. There's all kinds of type out there. Type. There's our word, type. We can move it around. All right, so the story with the uh, type tool, when we, when we click it, we can see that it moves really as its own object, but Illustrator recognizes it as font. It absolutely recognizes it as font. It doesn't see it as an object, it sees it as type. And when I, I'll show you in the next, in another video, how to create outlines of your type and turn it into um, objects. So there it is, type. That is the type tool, the basic type tool. Again, I could click, I could grab this again, I could grab another one. Type is, now um, let's say I wanted to, you know, deselect it. Well, I'd actually have to click off it with V. If I, if I hit the letter V for this keyboard shortcut, it would actually put the letter V in. I'm gonna do another one so I can click over here. Type is, and that was really close to that one, um, so it actually put it uh, right next to it. So I'm gonna, I want it to be its own little object here. So I can come on here, click. Type is awesome. I had to spell awesome correctly. Type is awesome. All right, now if I was to open up my layers too, I can see that each one of these is its own little object. Okay, so see how each one of them is coming on as its own um, within a layer. And Illustrator very easily puts the different objects within a layer on their own sublayer because these are these is layer one, and these would be the sublayers. Okay, so moving right along, let's actually look at type in an area. Okay, so what that means is. We draw an object. So if I drew an object, I'm going to write the same thing. I'm going to make a nice long, I'm going to make a box like so. Okay, and now I grab the type area tool. And again, the little pictograph that I get when to tell me what I have, I can see I have the type area tool because it's within a shape, it's in the circled shape. So when I click and hover, I come on over to the shape and I click, and here it is now. Type is. Awesome. All right, so see how it is. It's filling in to here and it's filling into this shape. Okay, so that's the way that that one works. And I could even, you know, come in, I could change the size of the shape so it fits in a little bit differently. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we could go about, but it's moving within a shape. Now, let's say I wanted it to be, because a lot of people say, well, I wanted it to have that colored shape behind it. Um, so let's say that, you know, you decided to, if you wanted to have like a color behind it, uh, what you would have to do is first thing is grab your shape, draw your shape, okay, and then copy the shape, edit, copy, edit, 
paste in front. So now what you need to have is you need to have two shapes, okay, two areas. So the type will actually come inside of this. When the type goes in it, the, the color ends up disappearing. All right, so I'm going to come on in, grab my area type tool, click, type is So there we go. That's how it works. Now I could grab this, move it around, play around with it, and there we have it. Okay, moving right along. Let's take a look at um, type on a path tool. All right, so what this means is, uh, again, I could come on in here and I could draw a star. Voila. All right, and the way that type on a path is going to work is again, I'm going to click onto it. So I click, and again, my little pictograph looks a little bit different. It's on a path. So our paths, all of our shapes are made up of paths. So we can see type, type. All right, so it's moving along, along a path. All right, when I click and move it and click off it, we get the, the feeling of what is going on here. Okay, uh, now, you know, you can even come on in and grab your paintbrush, draw a line, grab your type on a path, click, hover. And there we have it, type on a path. It really could be on any path that you want to use. All right, now, the next set of um, things that we're gonna do with type are actually very similar to the first set, um, but what it does is it makes it come vertical. Okay, so vertical type tool, we click, vertical, okay, makes sense, probably so. All right, let's do another one. Let's actually draw uh, a shape. It's gonna be inside of a shape. So again, inside of an area, click cover. And you can see, you know, now whenever you see this red box, what it means is that the type does not fit inside of the shape. All right, so always be aware of that. And what you could do is you could make your shape bigger if you'd like to, um, and then you'll see it. But if and you could also click hover, double click, and then create a new shape to put the type into. So there's a lot of different options. So what I've just done right here, see I've loaded, I click, double click that little thing. I've loaded the type now in my um, pointer. So I could draw another shape and then the rest of the type would go in. So all I have there are dots, but see how these two, if I click onto this, it's connected to that. Um, and that might make sense. It might be, if you might feel a little confused by that, but let's move, let's keep, keep on moving. All right, so our vertical type on a path tool. All right, so one more time for the vertical type on a path tool. Uh, what we want to do, let's just draw a circle. Yeah, there we go. Again, I think you probably uh, have the sense of what it is that is going to happen now. When we put it onto the path, it will come to the outside of the circle. Oh, and I gotta spell vertical right, vertical, and it will come around like so. So there we have it, little overview of type. One more thing, let's actually take another look a little bit further at some options with our type. So if I just come on and grab this, and I just put it like so. If I want to change it around, I'd have to highlight it, um, I could make it bigger, okay? I could again change the font. Now, when we come down here, so we don't really see the examples of it, so your best bet is coming over through the menu or coming on over on the character panel. And let's do noteworthy. Let's actually just do something a little bit more. Monica, why not? All right, so there we have it. Now, we could also, if we want to change the color of it, we can do so. You can click off and take a look, see what it looks like, voila. If we want to add an outline, 
All right, so we've just added an outline, and that worked too, just by sometimes, uh, if it's not working right, highlight it, but you can also select it and change it that way. So let's see if we change it to noteworthy. That worked beautifully. So you do not always need to highlight it, actually. And most times um, you'll find that you will not, but sometimes you will for some of the other options that are within the type. So we could even come on in and working with our stroke, we could make our stroke thicker, too thick. We could change the way the stroke looks. Okay, and even, you know, I could open up my stroke window to do so. We have our very own stroke window. Um, and you can play around a little bit. But again, your different strokes will come in here. And it looks like I'm not really getting, have being able to, to change it, which is okay. But you can play around with that. Um, now, if we wanted to look at some of the other things here, if we open up, let's just take a quick look at our character window. So we can come to window, type, character. My character window is open somewhere, but of course I don't see it up. Oh, here it is, I believe, behind everything else. All right, so again, we can see our the font size. We can see, we could set the letting and the tracking. Okay, so let's take a look at those two things. So what is the letting? If I click this, and I want to set the, the tracking. This one is to set the kerning between two characters. So in order to do this, let me grab my cursor and put this right here. And I can come on in to the kerning between two characters. And I can start to up it. All right, now see, it's starting, it's starting to move. I'm changing the space. Let's actually, let me put this up a little bit. I'll put in 80. All right, and it creates more space. Now, we might find that we like this better because we want to put them closer together. So I could even say negative 35, right? Then they're right up, right next to each other. Um, so other things that we could do, if I come on in here, let's say I wanted to add more type to this. I wanted to add more words. And I say, hmm, well, how do I go about doing that? All I want to do is grab my T for type, click, hover, get my cursor back. Type is great okay if I select this whole thing too let's see what happens we can set um, the we can set the letting is between lines but let's see the tracking we can do between all of the characters and I believe all right so we can see the characters are starting to move apart uh, and sometimes we want to come on in let's say 120 and we can see that that is putting space between all of the characters all right, so let's see if I only wanted to do a couple of these characters. Well, I come on in. I could highlight, say, these characters that are selected. And then I could, um, let me do a negative, say a negative 50. Then I could pull all of those together, so based on how they're highlighted. So there's a little overview of our um, character window. Uh, and again, letting is if there were if there was more than one line, we could set the space between the lines. So we'll end there. Thanks for listening. A little overview of type in Illustrator.